Hi, it's Andy at Nioxys, and I want to show you a great utility that you can use to make it really easy to maintain the proper stock levels for all of your inventory. Let's go take a look at our inventory module, and here we see our raw materials, our subassemblies, and our products. I can go into the product menu, bring up a particular item, and I can see a minimum stock. For example, here I should have a minimum of 100 of these particular items in stock, but I only have 94. I can go to my stock warning view option, and this will show me all of the inventory where the current stock is below the minimum stock. Out of my entire product catalog of 41 items, four of them are in a situation where my current stock is below my minimum acceptable stock. When I'm in the inventory, the raw materials, or the product catalog view, I want you to pay particular attention to the purchasing icon. We see it up here with the label in blue. When the label is blue and I click purchasing, it will take me to the purchasing module and give me the option to create a new purchase order or to receive product against an existing purchase order, or I can click cancel just to view all of my purchase orders. But watch what happens to the purchasing icon when I'm in stock warning mode. The label purchasing turns red and becomes batch PO. And now when I click the icon, I don't exit the inventory module and go to the purchase order module. I have the option to create a batch of purchase orders that will enable me to replenish all inventory items where current stock is below the minimum acceptable. The other thing to keep in mind is when those batch POs or replenishment POs are cut, they'll be cut according to the minimum order quantity for the preferred vendor that provides that item. So now you don't have to go through and cut individual POs for each item that's in a low stock situation. You don't have to try and figure out which items go together on the same PO to the same vendor. When you use the stock warning feature, you can just cut a batch of POs. The system will automatically find all of the items from each vendor that are under stock, create a PO for each one of those vendors, add all of the appropriate items, place the order for the minimum amount, and address the PO to the preferred vendor for that particular item. If you check your stock warning periodically and use this batch PO option, you're never going to be in an understock or out of stock situation, and you'll always have stock levels that are at least at the minimum acceptable level.